Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here working on our poetry unit. This week, uh, the first poem we're going to work on is called an acrostic poem. And out of all the poems that we have done so far, and you guys have been doing a great job doing these, um, I think this one you're probably going to be familiar with because I think it's one that's common in elementary school and I think you'll see it and you'll recognize it right away. Um, so, let's see. Um, I've got a few examples here. My first two examples I pulled off of the internet. By the way, just an aside, Mrs. Jost can always look up your poems to see if you are. You're pulling them off the internet. If you are, you should give credit to that, but you're supposed to be writing your own. Anyway, this one, as you can see, an acrostic poem. Sophia, if you read the first letter of each line going down the page, you'll see the name Sophia. And that's what makes up an acrostic poem. And then each line begins with a letter of the person's name, because we're going to do names, and says something about them. So this Sophia poem reads, Serene, a calming quality, organized, you always have it together, picturesque, strikingly beautiful, honest, so genuine, imaginative, a creative mind, alluring, so attractive. So this was obviously written by someone else that knows Sophia about Sophia. Your assignment is going to be to write a poem about yourself, which I'll get to in a little bit. This is another poem that I pulled off of the internet. Um, I picked William because that's my husband's name. So I thought, oh, let's see what another William's up to. So again, um, what I've done is I've chosen to write the name William going down the page in a bigger font, a bigger letter, and a different color, um, and then writing it in regular font. When you do these on the Chromebook, you'll see my examples and you can follow that. Um, but usually the name going down or whatever the word is going down um, is in a different font, a bigger font, a different color, but it stands out a bit. So this one is William. Again, I pulled this off the internet. William, your friendship is a gift, illustrious, bright, and accomplished, lively, the life of the party, lighthearted, you have easy laughter, inspirational, the ability to motivate, approachable, people turn to you for help, merry, abundant, joy. Okay, so some things you notice, these poems don't rhyme, okay? Um, some of the ones, and especially the examples in the document, they're much shorter than these. I kind of like the ones that say a lot about the person, um, but, you know, do the best you can. So your assignment is going to be to write one about yourself. Now, you could either use the first name, your first name. Like if I was going to do my husband, I could do uh, another one about him for William. Um, I could do just his last name, Jost, and just do the acrostic about Jost. Or I could do William Jost and do the first and last name. That, I'm going to leave that up to you. You can do that however you want. If you get stuck, and I'm actually not going to write one right now because I think these are pretty straightforward. Um, if you get stuck, you can think about different things about yourself. Think about the things you like and don't like. Make yourself a list of those things. Think about what your personality traits are and just make a list. Are you shy? Are you outgoing? Are you loud? Are you soft-spoken? Um, are you usually joyful? Are you sad? You know, just make a list of your personality traits. You know yourself better than anybody else. What do you treasure? In other words, what are the things that you really, 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 really like? Make a list of those. What are your dreams and plans? Well, only you know those. Um, what are your physical characteristics? That's pretty easy. What do you look like? You can make a list and describe yourself physically. You know, who are the members of your family? So if you get stuck and you are not sure what to do or what to write about about yourself, you can make yourself a list for these categories and then pull off of those ideas and just make sure that you are going to start each line with a letter of your, the next letter of your name, so that when you read it going down the page, you see your name. Your assignment is going to be to write one acrostic poem about yourself. And like I said, you can use your first name, you could use your first and last name, or you could just use your last name. I would be happy with any of those. You're going to turn it in on the document that is attached to this assignment. Have fun with it. 
I like to read about you guys and have a good day. Bye.